So everyone, today in Warframe, they actually released Cross Save to Founders. They released Cross Save to Founders for, I think, about two to three hours before they found enough issues. Maybe even longer, of course, but about two to three, possibly more hours before they found enough issues to stop Cross Save. So Cross Save Phase 1 testing has begun. And it has, it, it broke, so it un, undid. So, let's take a look and see what happened. <laughs> okay, Warframe had a little cross-save update. Cross-save, we did a soft, unannounced Founders launch and found a major issue with clan handoff. So, people handing off clans to someone else probably was breaking the game, especially across platform, right? Makes sense. Maybe someone got a little clan borked up, who knows? Maybe they'll have to do a little snapshot, retrieval, all that jazz. So we've pushed, so we've paused further action. Watch socials, forums, and red text on Monday for next steps. So you know I'll be up bright and early, just, just hoping, watching, waiting, anticipating, okay? Apologize, yeah, we apologize, <laughs> but we don't want to leave this over the weekend. I mean, yeah, fair enough. It sucks that they, uh, they aren't able to, like, have some people working weekends doing some stuff while others working weekdays, but, you know, no clue how their business work structure works, so it is what it is. And, you know, like, fair play, you don't want everyone breaking the game, breaking, uh, crossplay founder clans, like, and then fixing and, uh, cleaning up all that mess on Monday, right? Who knows how many founders would end up, like, having more issues and breaking things, and then they come back on Monday and then they're like, well, we have to spend all day fixing this, right? So... Yeah, that's what happened there. If you click onto the general like Warframe cross-platform save rollout info coming soon, uh, we took a look at all of this. This is like a lot of the FAQ stuff, right? They have the full FAQ feedback forum, report bug forum. Nothing is in these ones yet. But for the FAQ, we read over this at one point. If anyone ever wants to go over it again, go for it. But this also has a bunch of info that we already went over for cross play, save, or sorry, cross save, linking, account merging, and everything like that, as well as cross trade, right? So, yeah, we can't try cross trade yet until cross saves all out, and etc, etc. I cry every time. And the latest update is essentially like, well, we tested stuff, we broke stuff, nice. They have the, yeah, cross platform save bugs work. New bug issue, it's the, it's the red text, it's the same thing they tweeted out, right? Soft launch, broke stuff. We'll have to wait to see on Monday, unfortunate. I got some pictures from folk, like this is kind of how the UI looks, right? If you have PC, PC, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, you link them up and connect your accounts there. I mean, pretty interesting. That is how it kind of worked. People are like, whoa, nice, uh, no other pictures. But I think uh, you can go around and look. There's also a 14 Warframe Prime Resurgence event. So Warframe's gonna be raking in the cash on that one. And now we have the, you know, bigger, I would say, Reddit forum. It did last around two hours. Okay, around two hours, because this was like three, four hours ago. Oh, it just swapped over. Spooky, we saw that in real time. Anyways, yeah, it did swap over. Nice. And then a lot of people are like, okay, this looks kind of funny, but PC, Xbox, then you can connect your PlayStation, and then you can connect your Switch. For a lot of people, myself included, if we are going to Warframe.com, we would click our profile and it would say like, oh, cross save ready, click here to cross save. And then it would say like, once you go to your profile, platform coming soon. And this is still what it's gonna look like for now until they swap it over. So yeah, instead of this, it'll look like that, right? It'll jump over to this and then you just connect your account. So that's seemingly what it's gonna look like and how it's gonna work because hey, some founders already did it and broke stuff. And that's why things are being tested and shoved out in phases because you don't want to break the entire game. Okay, how seamless was it? Does how MR carry over? Two questions, can't count. Perfectly seamless, nice. MR carries over properly. Summed all mastery points from combined accounts. Yeah, okay, exactly what we expected because it's not like they're going to delete all of your level 30 items on your one account. It's going to merge over. You're going to get all that MR. Wouldn't make any sense. So that properly worked, it uh, seemed. MR items merged properly. Jumped me to LR2, all my items. Now, got to sort through duplicates. Understandable, understandable. Okay, updates, you need trade restrictions as waves roll out. Okay, so they didn't have cross trade. I'm able to look at PC trade chat in game chat now. Okay, so they do properly link up the chats. 
Interesting. I am continuously prompted to install a navigation segment. Installing it clears the prompt, but opening and exiting navigation makes the prompt reappear. So clearly the quest uh, clan stuff wasn't the only broken thing. Or maybe the clan, it's like asking you to install the clan segment for navigation. Because I remember, or like, build the clan key. Either way, it seems like that's broken, so they'll have to fix that up. Right, keep primary account name, but I'm almost using the same platform primary PC originated. I don't entirely know how this works. Okay, okay, we don't know for sure. All duplicates sold gave 52 weapon slots, 40 warframe slots. Does it add your login days together? No clue. Uh, it almost definitely will not add your login days together because you could log in pro on both of them at the same day every day and your login days would go up. I assume it'll take the login days of the primary account or they'll have it checked so it'll be login days of both accounts uniquely right they'll check the unique dates for each one but we have no no clue they didn't really answer and that's not really something i think is that important i'm assuming it'll go by highest or primary account hopefully highest but maybe not had a bunch of build weapons so yeah that's uh, the long forum on reddit go check out some reddit posts if you want to and everyone's pretty excited right everyone's pretty excited and the tldr is it's still gonna launch for founders probably on monday for more testing Founders are people who bought Founders packs originally for Warframe. Essentially, it's a Kickstarter slash like beta bundle, right? So the cheapest bundle was like $15, $20, depending on your currency, about that. And the most expensive, I think, was $150. That's the one that had Excalibur Prime, like Lado Prime, Skana Prime, I think. I think those were the weapons, but either way, if you have, you know if you're a founder because you spent money to be a founder, right? If, you, if you're questioning whether you're a founder, you're probably not a founder because $300 was the cap. Lol, nice. Anyways, you're probably not a founder if you don't, if you're asking if you're a founder. Every key head will be a founder, but there are founders that don't have Excal Prime. It is important to remember because the lowest tier didn't have any Prime weapons or Warframes. So there are a lot of founders without Excal Prime and without the Prime stuff. So they were multiple tiers. So yeah, if you spent beta money on the warframe founder pack you're probably a founder and other than that no and then this is uh this is the why the small scale rollout was staggered because they instantly found things that broke and they'll have to fix that and then they'll push it out again you you guys remember how they pushed out cross clan and like cross uh chat and like all the cross play stuff it's gonna be the same idea they're gonna slowly push out cross save cross linking all that they're it's they're gonna test it it's gonna break they're gonna pull it back they're going to fix it. They're going to test it. It's going to break. They're going to pull it back. It's going to be like that until it's like stable enough that nothing is going to break the game, but maybe small bugs because let's be real. Warframe is the game that is known to have so many bugs and it is bug frame, right? So chances are we have to make sure that everything works and does not break the game, but maybe small bugs will make it through, right? Like non-game breaking, maybe small UI bugs where it just like hicks, hiccups and then you'll have to like close the game or like close out of your UI, stuff like that. So the big stuff they have to fix, but maybe it'll push out with like smaller bugs. Almost 100% it will, right? So it's gonna take some time, just wait. It's gonna happen day by day, actively while people are playing. It's gonna break stuff, okay? Maybe some of this broke things and pushed out with Barrow Katir because when Barrow Katir came out, the servers completely crashed. We got a new Prime mod, Prime Redirection. The game completely blew up and crashed. So, hey, who knows? Wait and see, but nothing is game-breakingly broken and you can still play the game even if it is a little buggy and whispers in the wall, okay? There are a lot of bugs and they'll hopefully be fixed up over the next week. But yeah, it is what it is and wait on Monday for more information. Cheers, cheers.